ravishing. Oh. Ow! <laughs> okay, so... But you're really not. <laughs> welcome to podcast number... Uh, seven. Thank you. Uh, because God knows I'm not Ooh. keeping track. <laughs> um, this week we've got a new douchebag with us, and that is uh, a big welcome back to other Mac. Oh, fuck it, brother. <laughs> and as you, you get to hear, laugh at that, you can be... Hey, I've moved. Listen to all, oh, newbie, okay. all the uh, podcasts so far. Don't you should know that not to bang on the table because it really resonates. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Before. You didn't explain this to me. You think you fucking well, know? No, since you've listened to all of our podcasts, <laughs> it's not in the podcast. Yes, it is though. I do a shitty job of editing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> okay, so welcome back, everyone. We've been having a interesting week. I hope I'm looking Damn. around, looking at Jesse specifically, being like, please, oh god, please have something interesting. No, so, um, no don't go to me. So Try I'll start off with murder. what I was uh, doing this week, and I, you know, have been going back and watching some horror films because it is October, and with the chiming of the clock, you guys will know that this Cinderella story is over because it struck midnight. Oh god, you're hideous again. Yep. <laughs> yep. I am actually a hideous frog man. <laughs> and um, my amphibian fingers are now scraping along. You can hear that. But anyway, so what I was doing... Please hear that. <laughs> please hear that. Make no sense please save me. <laughs> but, um, they found it easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, apart from that, I read a lot of comics. Um, and uh, Oh, okay, you, you got insults to you, newbie. What have you been doing this week? Working. Don't at... care. What have you been doing, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm playing WoW. Okay, what's new in WoW? Um, not much. It's like a single quest line. So I hear that for all intents and purposes that there's a new patch out in WoW. Like... It's coming out on, in November, but this is the pre-patch. Okay, so just, what's the pre-patch? It's just like, oh no, the fucking Iron Horde's it's killing pre- everyone. It, sorry, there's a pre-patch. Yes. There's a pre-patch, there's okay. a patch to the patch. Okay, you, you patch this, Ryan. I, I understand. So what... Shit, now, now they know who I am. No, they're not allowed to know who you are. Exactly. So, Ryan. No, that's, yeah, that's Ryan with the silent B at the start. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Fuck the, it, why okay, not? so, first off, they Brian have... Ryan Hulkamania. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so, because with uh, the new expansion, Walls of the North, they have, like, a bunch of shit they've just, like, just changed completely. Like, they've changed all of the, all the skins of the older races. They've changed how all the classes work and all the specs work. And they've uh, what's it? They've changed like how the bank works and how mounts work and like it's a bunch of shit. And they've they've rewound all of the fucking damage back to like two thousand. That's your life. <laughs> exactly. Your life. <laughs> because you've gone back in time. Ha- um, how much does this cost? It costs. Um, well, you can buy you can buy everything up to that for twenty bucks, and the expansion is fifty. No, 40. I forget. I bought it like, way later than I bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, let's just assume for 60 bucks, pretty much up front for the, you know... Yeah. Plus, you have to be 16 bucks a month. Mm. So, 70 bucks. The subscription is basically gone to red. You're like, I want to I watch that HD show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that I would know. <laughs> oh, God. I'm... So, okay. <laughs> We're going to try something. In under a minute, I want you to try and sell World of Warcraft to Ryan. It's not going to work. And in under a minute, Ryan, after that, uh, you, I want to see, like, if you mm-hmm. can say why no one should go to World of Warcraft. Okay. Three, easy. two, one. In in a world <laughs> where <laughs> Warcraft reigns supreme. Um, uh, so, let's see. Uh, well, I'm only going really, right. I only play for the. <laughs> okay, so I only play for the lore and just to relax. I'm not one of those hardcore people. So there are some people like, man, the PvP is so good, and like, oh, the late game PvE is all the. Right. It's just the, the grind. But we're not here to talk about Chris, so go on. Yeah, well, Chris can't play. <laughs> <laughs> he plays hunter. He has like seven hunters, and that's it. Okay. So like, but like, that's the, pretty dedicated. The lore that be like is incredibly interesting, each? and Walls of Dunor because they're going back to Draenor, which is possibly the most interesting part of the lore in, in WoW. It's really getting me excited for just like the stories they can tell and everything. Okay. Um, my main reason I, I have a life. <laughs> yeah. I have a life. Yeah, I'm huge. sitting here talking yeah. to like yeah. three other Bitch. nerds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm being a You're in the wrong crowd to say I have a life because <laughs> I don't play games. Get fucked. No, I don't play WoW. <laughs> You're sitting down at the wrong yeah. table. <laughs> you came to the wrong table. What game have you played recently, Ryan? No, I was going to say, all right, we'll stick to the thing. My argument is like, okay. I don't really, 
understand why people would pay so much per month on a continuous basis for the same shit. I'm like, it, well, for me, it doesn't pay. appeal to me. So, I, yeah, you're not going to sell it to me. Well, we pay this, you know. Do you go to theme shit, parks? Xbox Gold. No. You don't go to theme parks. No, I okay, don't well, go to... I don't see why you're you do that. Because like, it's like... <laughs> theme parks. <laughs> because if, if you pay money to enjoy an experience in a theme park, it's the same thing. Yeah, but it's like, I haven't been to a theme park for like, since I was like 12. It's, so. Okay, this is how I see it. It's basically like you're buying DLC. Over uh, and DLC over and over you keep and over again. You're not making a strong argument no. for Ryan. Oh, fucking... Ryan's an idiot. <laughs> we all know this. <laughs> it's a lemon. That's why you go. Uh, it's a lemon. Oh, no, I now. agree that if, if you if you're not into playing the game, a subscription is stupid, and you should never subscribe to something. That I you just would think play. it's money. Is there money. a free model? Um. Well, there's yeah. free to play up to level twenty, I think. Okay. So, like, if you don't like it by then, you're not gonna like it forever. So, why would you ever subscribe to it? But I would argue that some of the funner parts come during, like, the late game, like instances with groups, because that's well, yeah. how you experience a whole bunch of the lore by actively participating. <laughs> yeah, well, they're hoping that you'll have friends that when you get into WoW. See, there's pros and cons that. You're like, yeah, I can do it with all my friends, and then you're like, and then you get all those like idiots, and they're like. Ugh! Just, I oh, said, okay, we're well, not here to talk about Chris. Well, you, 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 you can ignore those idiots. Like, I've played by myself in WoW for like a good year. Like, I played for the entire Mr. Left Mr. My guild. Mr. Pandaria. I didn't let leave your guild until you didn't show up for like four years, actually. So it was, it was a test of faith. What you, happened did, to you, you were never coming back. Yeah. Well, and you're asking the wrong man for a test of faith, to be honest. <laughs> what about you, Mac? Are you get to be the tiebreaker between the argument? <laughs> That wow. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like uh, I play wow. Yep. Bias. So, so yeah, I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, but would you, would you get over it or would you just? Well, like, what it's makes like you I, pain? Well, it's like I I stopped playing the new. Okay. Do. Also, I'll make an addendum. I will own, I will only play wow like for long periods of time when I'm doing the quest. And once I've finished all of the content in that patch, I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna stop playing it. But will you pay for the, the next content. patch? Yeah. Okay. Because so. I can, tr because I trust Blizzard to make a fun experience. I, I can't say the same. Well, that's because you have you have no <laughs> faith in Blizzard. <laughs> you just said you have no faith in anything. I well, Blizzard. Not me. No. Blizzard, yes. Here we go. <laughs> the thing, okay, so the last, the last, well, I, I started playing like. Well, I have my own account in. I think it should Rocky be. Um, I should you know preface this for everyone on the podcast who's probably thinking, oh, what a douche. I actually am responsible for getting both of the other people yeah, who are yeah, telling me yeah. to get into WoW. And plus, like, two other friends I know. Yeah. You're like, you should get into WoW, and then I get into WoW, and then he plays for, like, six well, months, you, and then you leaves to pay. me for dead. It's like, you got me to, you know, when you pay, you started sold playing, me my like, first oh. crack. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'll, 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 I'll pay for it. I'm like, oh, okay, man. Well, yeah. it's like, I see, I'm like, oh, you guys might like it. Well, yeah, I did. I guess yeah. I'm right. I just like, yeah, well, hey, Ryan, you should play. I'm just like, nope. I, just <laughs> you know, I, I, I wouldn't have stayed watched like playing it if it wasn't for you giving me the fucking books as well. Really? Yeah. I was like, wow, this is really cool. I've had you sit me down for three fucking hours to explain the whole lore. Yep. It was worth it. Yeah. You Fun. now know that Thrall is a book, there's a douchebag. I know more than I should. <laughs> I will leave it at that. <laughs> okay, I've got to just hypothetically, Ryan. Would you be a panda person? No. Yes. Pandas are cool. Would you be an undead person? I don't know. I have to see more. Okay. Would you be. Okay, you see, everyone, <laughs> everyone leaned just leans in because they're waiting for the decision. We're judging. Would you be a bull, like a minotaur? No, because that's fucking horde. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. That's like, um, what, what did you say I was? You said that. Uh, you're giving everyone... well, what your um what your class would be? It yeah. was just classes, not what your oh, okay. race was. Let's let's see. Can I say Fury Warrior? <laughs> um, I... Just because you just like... you can run in there and just be like, I'm the Fury Warrior. And like, <laughs> yeah. DPS is dead, reviving. Oh, there we go. If if you get killed, it's no one else's. It's your. It's, it's everyone else's fault. I, I like that. <laughs> you weren't style. taking enough of my my aggro tank. What the hell? Why aren't you healing me, fucking healer? Jeez, don't what, let me what, out damage you, you, you fucking rival? scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're like fucking lame. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> um, um, uh, you would be like a death knight, like not maybe like a you'd be. Oh, I want to say, say blood, but blood seems do bullshit. No, you'd, be, you'd be crips. See, <laughs> see, you'd be dead. My, my main problem with like these sort of games is 
I have grown to hate people so much, I can't, like... You don't have time. to play with I me. ignore everyone in WoW. I was, it's true, it got to be like level 40. And it's like last time I played it, I was level 68. What was it? And fucking watching Ethan do bullshit. That's, don't don't in general. watch Ethan do This is the story of Ethan. Ethan has a fucking rep pally. He's mm-hmm. like, let's do arena. So, okay, I'll go with you. I have a fucking shadow priest. Yep. Wait, wait, you can't beat him, right? Is that no. where the story goes? No, 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 no. Oh, because I was about to say, you can't beat him. We entered twos. Okay, mm-hmm. we're, we're versing a uh, a hunter and a warrior. I'm not sure what the fucking class is because I know the fucking difference. They're just fucking people to me. <laughs> so like, okay, so he dies in like maybe two minutes. They're like, oh fucking hell, Ethan. <laughs> so then like he gets he gets he almost kills the warrior, but not quite. And then there's just the warrior is almost dead, and then the hunter. He fucking leaves because he's like, oh you you kill you're a fucking priest. I kill the fucking warrior. <laughs> And then the hunter can do no damage against because he's wearing PvE gear and I just kill him and I get all the points. Oh, that reminds me so many times playing Company Hero of Ethan and he's just like... <laughs> That's just building game up. with Ethan. Yeah, pretty much. And he's just like, alright, we're building up, we're about to attack. He's like, no guys, we should attack and just waste all the resources and stuff. Like, no, Ethan, you need to build up a bit first. And he's just like, no, fuck this and we get fucked over. <laughs> the worst part is, before that, he's like, you should come fight me at the front of Storm of the Oak. Fine then, but you're a fucking power. You should be able to be the easy. Like, I goes out there like... He just stands there, like oh, he's just... not in melee range. <laughs> like you did, you don't, you know that paladins are fucking. You need to hit them with with, with maces for them to do damage. I like how this is turning from World of Warcraft to like let's hate on Ethan. Well, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan's terrible. <laughs> Chris isn't much better though. Chris, you're bad. Full circle. You're, I like you as okay. a person, but you're bad. So it's like you know how I was saying uh, Fury Warrior. Um, that was because like Chris has uh, two warriors. And he's got he? a hunter. Oh yeah, he has a fucking war gun. What the yeah. fuck's a dingo warrior? <laughs> <laughs> Use the ultimate warrior! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, British <laughs> ultimate warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much what the war gun are. So, um, oh, okay. But they have top hats. Yep. Okay. Fancy. Governor. Governor. But, um, <laughs> I'll give you a good price. Wait, that's the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> get Gavin. Get Gavin. So, oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Get Gavin or get going. Yeah, I mistook WoW for a good game. See? This is what I- Never mind. Mac, uh, what no, have you no. been doing this week? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you just fucking ended end it there. Hey, end hey. Shut yeah. the fuck up. It's my turn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, other Mac. You're other Mac. Am I? I've actually been watching the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Again? Oh, I finished season two. It's the same episode on repeat. Um, That's the secret. Are yeah, they still black and white? <laughs> yeah. But it's now actually like season two where it actually gets into... Have they, have they mentioned vampires yet? Have you been trapped in a in an abandoned hospital yet? And they're like, where is everybody? The curse killed them all. The curse? Was the curse of the mummies? The mummified skeleton warriors? Skeleton warriors! <laughs> and I've been playing the new Borderlands. Oh, lame! <laughs> hey, I've already stated my views on that, alright? So go and watch the E3 video if you want to know why. No one cares what you think, you're a newbie. Is it fun? <laughs> Have you enjoyed it? Is it yeah, just Warlands? It's, it's, it's basically, the moon is basically Space Australia. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but is it really Space Australia then? Yeah, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> This off and everyone's just jacking their own dicks. Their own dicks? I rented this one. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, if you guys want to touch each other's dicks, that's no, fine. No. I played Borderlands 1. I thought, yeah, this is really fun. I did I, all the DLC. I almost platinum that shit, except for like, I needed one, which is like, being a team and beat a boss. Like, nah, I don't like people. <laughs> so, but like, right? I, and then I tried playing Borderlands 2. I was like, yeah, this is fun. And until I realized this is the same shit, just, it takes longer How to do. How good was that? All that money. From Clover Marines. <laughs> this really made that graphics pop. Oh man. I, did, I, I don't know. Oh, Fuck you, Gearbox. Gearbox is fine. Don't pay a hate on the, Gearbox. I'm gonna hate on Do your fucking just job. Just make bad games. Do your fucking <laughs> job. For fuck's sake. Was, Get paid. That's like if I went to work and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm gonna use all this money and fucking <laughs> go and be, I don't know, um, a great analogy so far. Did, did you even play Clover Marines, right? Huh? No, I watch you suffer. Exactly. So, you really <laughs> can't bitch. You, no, you didn't pay the for control. the shit. Yeah, well, whose fault is that? Yeah, well, I was <laughs> told... 
I got it when it came out. You know, oh, I did, was did like, you just say your? What, what did you just say, Jesse? I, I blame you. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you said something else. Don't worry. No, no, no. Just assume I'm blaming you for everything. Okay. I'm simply ravishing. <laughs> oh. about that. Next subject. <laughs> No, I was merely just going to jump on and say... Ravishing Rick Rude should have won that fucking strip off, though. Uh, Ravishing Rick Rude should have run everything. But, um, Ryan... Life. What did you do? Um, I'm still reading fucking Future's End. How's like, that going? It's fucking terrible. It's, like, literally, I would, wouldn't would recommend it to anybody. Why? Because it's, it's just so shit. But what, why is it shit? Wait, what's shit about it? It's like... Alright, so I'm reading it for, like, a couple why? characters... Well, you can say what characters. Oh, for like, Grifter, Deathstroke. Okay, for starters. So um, all the bad characters. Is there going to be spoilers in this? Because if it's a major plot point, we can say no, no, so. No, I'm going to okay. try and do without okay. any spoilers. So, it's just, yeah, it's going to be very, very vague. It's just, I'm reading it for like, five panels, six panels maybe. And then it's like, oh, here's other characters in the universe. And then it's just like, oh, your characters. Uh, they may or may not be in that comic. I'm like, <laughs> awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Piece of shit. So what they do that whole And I'm halfway. <laughs> I'm halfway through this turd sandwich. And then there's another event coming. I'm like, fuck you guys. Yeah, because um what is it? It's like Earth Two something I can't remember what Earth Two's end. That's happening. And then there's that's like, that's that's that, like Batman week. Eternal as well. And, and then it's all gonna just mold into one giant. But Earth, Earth Two is the good one place that wants to be. That should be the main thing, Earth Two. Mm-hmm. All the good characters <laughs> in Earth Two. Everyone. What? I love Earth Two. What are we talking? Yeah. What, what are we? Are we knocking on it or? He's no, no. Like Ryan was. No, no, no. I'm just like I was gonna say something about like, yeah, like, like, like read, yeah. reading it for Earth Two. That's the best part. I suppose, but so you're just not liking it. Oh, it's just fucking terrible, and uh, it's just like. By the same token, I'm not reading like Axis, which is like the Marvel big event happening. I'm like. I don't fucking care. Apparently, if you're not reading, I think it was, I don't know if it was Uncanny or Astonishing X-Men. If you haven't been reading that, it's just like, oh shit, you don't understand what's going on in the story. I'm like, good planning, guys. At the same time, though? Or is it like... Oh, it's like leads onto it. So it's like, oh, here's all this shit that happened. You're like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So... It's oh, a wiki. But fucking, sure. to be fair, DC does that stuff as well. They're like, oh, do you love the Court of the Hours story? Like, the Night of the Hours story? Well, guess what? We're not going to finish it in its own trade. So, you know, buy the next one. Buy Batman. Let me go! Just all the money. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, it's not just... That's just a comic book thing. Like, what I am reading... Don't fucking <laughs> say anything to do with Spider-Man. Uh, well, if there's a... If you're just going to say the Spider-Verse, then... Yes, the Edge. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I'm reading. Also, I want to let the people on the podcast know that while we were talking about Marvel, both Macca and Jesse just zoned out and they were like, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Marvel just doesn't interest me. I don't know why people pay 16 bucks a month for that sort of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I was listening. That's like, I'm just trying to eat chicken twisties. I hate chicken twisties. Well, don't eat them then. Put them, them closer to him. Put them closer. <laughs> so now if you, if, you, if you hear them, him eating them now, <laughs> he's hand feeding them. That's hot. Okay. I'd buy that for a So. Bit. So this, this is what I've been missing out on. <laughs> yeah, you've been missing out on all this fun all stuff. All the gay shenanigans. It's not even... It's not even gay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they Choking taste up. so bad. Don't <laughs> eat them! Swallow next time. Yeah, here's a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll just put them all over your tits. <laughs> Please like can we talk about that next time? So, everyone's seen the RKO things going viral? Yeah, um... How do you like the fact that that's probably the most relevant the WWE's been in years? Uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Have <laughs> you guys seen them? No. See, yet. how no. I saw, like, a, there was a few videos that have, like, happened before, <laughs> but then my brother's just like, hey, because he really likes Randy Orton, like, um, he doesn't give a shit about wrestling, but he's just like, oh, I really like the RKO. Crossover appeal, yeah. So, he's just like, hey, Ryan tagging this and then it's just like RKO 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 and I was reading an article article an and RKO like, and RKO <laughs> nice um which was saying it that... wasn't even wordplay right <laughs> you don't have to pity me <laughs> but anyway go no, on yeah because I do that shit all the time <laughs> um no. people seen the channel right <laughs> <laughs> um and they're like going by like statistics if Everyone, like if they keep doing these RKO videos, uh, everyone by November, everyone on YouTube that's ever fallen over will be RKO, which is four point seven billion people. So basically, for you guys, 
And for people at home that don't know about it, all those fail videos where people just fall over or they like do that something stupid. Like that weather woman who's like crushing the grapes and she falls over or that dickhead on a skateboard who's like, oh, look at me, I'm cool and falls Or over. there's a dude that tries to, you know, do parkour and jump and he smashes his head on the side of like a packaging box. <laughs> oh, so basically what they've been hilarious. doing is they've been getting like little pictures of Randy Orton to just, you know, wait in the background and just as they're about to fall, then he does the RKO and they'll have like wrestling commentary on the background. Oh god, RKO! Oh, no way! Amazing. And so that's gone viral. And it's just so badly like cut out because you see it's like different images and fucking, <laughs> oh man. But this is actually getting people to, you know, tune into WWE apparently because they did, had a better Raw than um, they did the previous week in terms and, of numbers. And yeah, it was hilarious. Like, uh, I remember people going around like, holy shit, you did the thing to that dude, the blonde guy. And it was um, Dolph Ziggler. But yeah, everyone was like, you did the thing, the thing on the internet. To that random jobber. <laughs> yep, unfortunately. But I don't know. Um, yeah, do you think yeah. it's good that there are eyes on the product, or do you think that they're the wrong kind of eyes? Um, well, it's probably wrong more eyes, eyes than they've seen. Well, it could get people who'd be like, oh, that's cool. They're not, oh, like, they're not going to change, though. They might. We, we thought that in the past. Yeah, well... But hey, yeah, at, least it's, like at least it's not on Fuckboy Buckethead, so... Why can't that be a fucking viral thing? Like, Fuckboy Buckethead! <laughs> just, just a random retards. Fuckboy Buckethead! Well, what I was going to say is... um. Uh, you guys might have seen that thing that I put up uh, earlier this week, uh, which was saying that 1.2% of you know TNA yes. fans actually buy pay per view or merchandise. So God, it, we're that we're in the percent. We're in the percent. We're the elite. We're the 1%. <laughs> um, and we're the 1.2 percenters. So we're with EC3 apparently. Um, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> EC3. Drum, 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 but um, drum. what I was going to say is, how do you, you all of you guys feel that you know? Tina has this fan base, this so-called loyal fan base that just pirates all their stuff. Do you think it's because it's expensive and, you know... It, what what is it over there? It's like, so it's like $30 for us in Australia. Yep. For most of them. So for Bound for Glory, which was, um, I, I was talking was about with you guys, with they, they, it cost them $50 in America to get the HD version yeah, but they, on their cable. So yeah. Yeah, the HD version. Uh, yeah. Like really, you could just be like... But oh, 50 like, American dollars. Yeah. Uh, that so was it's, bad marketing. I can't remember. American we went over this. Does. Yeah, but it, no, but it's like you know, uh, I'm not meaning to be insulting to people in America, but it's just like you, you know, so often. you guys, you know, you have cheaper stuff and whatnot. So you know, when we see something and it's like, oh, you know, well, we got the famous Australian tax. Yeah, uh, it's just like, oh, it's um, what fifty dollars in America. Well, like it's, forty uh, to fifty dollars is like sixty dollars is the max you'll ever pay on a game, and that's considered too much. 120. So yeah, 120. Like 190 bucks for closed edition. Yeah. Um, Whereas at new games, it's just like $89.99. Plus fucking 90 they, bucks They literally Steam. went to fucking, it was like the Apple iStore, and I fucking hate Apple, so fuck you. But um, they fuck went you, to their dead store. Guy. It was, fuck you, guy, who <laughs> <wasn't> listening. <laughs> fuck you, dead stick <laughs> job. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't yeah, do I can find the rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they had like the Australian uh, like I, iTunes store, and and then they went to the American one. It was like literally a markup of like two dollars for like song and shit. And they're just like, what the fuck? And they just put all that digital content. Yeah, oh fucking so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so you can imagine that when a uh, pay per view shows up, that's fifty bucks. It's got you know, it doesn't have the champion on it, um, so it didn't have Bobby Lashley. And then it was mainly, uh, you know, uh, Wrestle One people as well. That you know, so n some people that people watching TNA wouldn't normally care about. You can imagine that, you know. I mean, we all had our own reasons to like buy into it. I'm just like, fuck yeah, yeah the revolution. Shut up, <laughs> fucking fuck up. <laughs> you failed. Great you failed hard. Deal way. with it. It was a good match. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, so rise again. What do you think TNA is? <laughs> like, what do you think TNA's strategy should be? Should they like, you know, keep it the same price? Should they make it cheaper? Should they? Even, I'm thinking that maybe they should do like internet pay per views and the fact that they're just like, you know, uh, have a subscription thing. Not even like the WWE. Just be like, oh, if you want to watch this thing, ten bucks. But you know, subscribe to us on Twitch. It will cost one yeah, exactly. soul. <laughs> no, that's Vince I'll McMahon. Pay that. It cost one soul for the dead man to come back. <laughs> Oh yeah! I just don't find that. The virus here. 
I just don't find this believable. <laughs> There's no such thing as a soul. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hard boy. You pay me in whole car, cold card. <laughs> yeah, nice. I was going to be cold hard cash, but then it was just going to be like cold cock, cold cock. Boy bucket head, cold cock, cold cock, boy bucket head, cold cock, cold cock, boy bucket head. See, but one of their main problems, the reason why they haven't like done anything like TV wise and that is because their deal with Spike TV is coming to an end and they're like shit they're looking for something at the moment so that's why like, they haven't re-signed well, they, they're trying to either re-sign them or look for a better deal somewhere else well um, I it, and just so that a, might contribute well us here in Australia in order to even oh, fucking oh. watch TNA we need to get a cable you know Sort of a program set up like a cable, uh, what would you call it? Like Company. a subscription? Yeah. Fuck Uh Well, you know, we don't want to advertise them. But so we'd get a, a cable we'll subscription that. and then you'd have to get the sports package as well as that. So that's an extra 20 to $30 in Yeah. Time. And but then, then you, you can you, watch TNA a few days after it airs in the States. Yeah, on Saturday. Yeah. So yeah. And um, <laughs> then you also, um, was it pay per views aren't included? Mm hmm. Go pay extra for the pay per views, and yeah, it's just. If they had live streaming anywhere, I would fucking watch it. Well, well you can like... live stream, but it is illegal. <laughs> but it's like, um. Why, make it why legal you then? Look fucking your pay code, for it. But it's like, it's illegal. It's. Well, <laughs> here's the thing you're always. Wait, gonna, you're you always gonna get piracy. Like, yeah. no matter what. I mean, look at Smiley. Yeah, but if they make it, if they make it easier. <laughs> If they make it easier for you to pay for it than it is to pirate, people are going to pay for it more. Are they? Are people, like, you know, we would. That's how Steam works. They make it easier to buy it than to pirate it. Yeah, but then there's people who are just like, I've got a hard drive for And they'll always games. exist, but there's, I'm not there, gonna... there'll be some people that will pay for it. Okay. I mean, if I enjoy people I'm sure like there are people out there that are pirating it because they just can't get it. When you guys watch a TNA crowd, do you see anyone with, like, TNA shirts? I see more WWE shirts yeah. in the yeah. TNA it's crowd. Yeah, a yes chance of fucking pissing me off. Yeah. <laughs> But um, it's like a lot of like old school ones. And yeah, yeah. Well. So well, it's, it's like Randy Savages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's um like recently been in New York. Randy where... Savage. <laughs> That's the best like Randy Orton thing. Randy's <laughs> Savage. <laughs> but like, they um were filming in New York where they had like the ECW when they went to New York. The same. Yeah. Way. I can't remember the. Uh, remember. it's the asylum or but before it was knocked down. I'm pretty sure. Mm. But yeah, so they they were filming there, and like everyone's been like, yeah, fuck yeah, ECW. So there's been like, a whole bunch of ECW I shirts. ECW was in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Mm. Philadelphia. Right. <laughs> but no, it had some. Uh, it did, but it had some shows in New York, and that basically when they did some pay per views over there, they had the same crowd, and yeah, I think it they did one night to remember over there as well. I'm not sure, mm. but um, yeah. Um, oh. So and I just find it hilarious how they've taken like taken a WWE product and be like, no, nah, it's EC Dub. <laughs> and um, when I went to the live event down in Melbourne, an EC Dub, not ECW, EC Dub chant broke out in the crowd. I'm like, ha, suck that one. Well, when we we're watching Bound for Glory, yeah, there was an ECW like um chants and whatnot, and it was just like you know, obviously people still remember. Um, Three, two, one, get the, get the tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like the fact that you know people still remember that stuff. Um, so we're just going to do a quick poll around the table. Okay. Get the table poll. So... Oh shit, oh my god! <laughs> That's your noise of your body being ill. Yeah. It, oh. it was a hard table and it didn't break. Very You're a very light. small person. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, My know, power is I can morph my body size from a jockey to... Yeah. What? <laughs> Fair enough. Why'd you create it? <laughs> I'm basically Rockstar Spud. <laughs> I like but, Rockstar Spud. They've been mean to me. That says it's, it's, all his one fan. But I mean, um, I'm, his, I'm the one percent <laughs> fans of Rockstar Spud. So here's the poll. Yes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Deep Voice. <laughs> oh, you've got to try and sound cool. For the podcast. Oh, um, so um, <laughs> I'm like 30 minutes too late, man. I thought you were gonna. I'm like 30 years old, man. They, 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 uh, my life is like, they are. You're about 10 years too early. <laughs> um, so okay, just you know, obviously take this seriously. Who puts on the better product, WWE Raw or TNA Impact? Uh, I'll go first. I haven't seen Impact okay, so movies. we'll go around the table for okay. Ryan Tamaka. I'll go Impact. I mean, I fucking watch their shows on YouTube, and then it's like you get like five minute matches. So you're not getting the full match. They're back, like, and they're already in the ring, and half the match is over. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. I still understand what the fuck's going on. Though. It's just like, 
Oh, and he is 14 minutes and talking. If you, if you like cut five minutes out of a WWE match, you wouldn't notice. No, because it's like, well, that's usually like a piss break. Five minutes, that's the whole fucking WWE match. <laughs> you wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're still talking. Yeah. And just, just they just seem to have oh, look, better angles and everything going on. So, I, um, yeah. The camel. Okay, what about you, Jesse? Well, I'm a TNA fanboy. Yeah. So I'm a <laughs> TNA. And predictably. Is there any reasoning behind that? I just think the quality, the technical, like, every, the match is just superb. Every every single time I watch the TNA match, it's just perfect. Like wow. they'll, like there might be some fuckers, but like you know, like it's just they put they try so much harder. And you can tell they care a lot more, or at least they have to care because they're like the company is so oh, small. Oh shit! I'm not gonna eat this week if I don't perform well. <laughs> they're <laughs> just right. like I'm just gonna fucking go to my house that's converted into a garage. Like, Why single, is that Randy Orton? Every single, oh, every single impact <laughs> match. <laughs> no, no, Randy Orton's gonna go and stare at vipers. <laughs> vipers that will just yeah. attack you out of nowhere. <laughs> like every single impact <laughs> match, and like even yeah. just like um. Like, the promos and everything has just been like, oh, this is a fucking pay-per-view, like, experience. Yeah, I can see that. Like, do you like the X Division at all? Like, the speed and, like, the high pace of it? Uh, it's, it's a different kind of match, and it's a refreshing different kind of... Because, like, it, like, there's no difference in the belts in WWE. Yeah. That's why they're fucking just like, them together. No one knows the difference. Mm-hmm. At Interchangeable! Least with, like, X, X Division is, like, you no, want to watch a fast technical <laughs> match, and, like, heavyweight oh! is like, we're going to watch some brutal shit with, like, some really good dressage. And what about you, Mr. Macker? Well, the last time I watched Raw, I was fucking bored. Really? Yeah, I was <laughs> bored, so I'm like, you know what, fuck this. Oh, I'm going to watch something else. You changed the channel. I that changed is the, the ultimate channel. disrespect. Yeah. Um, this, can you remember what the segment was? Was it talking or wrestling? Was it John Cena? <laughs> fuck boy, fuck <laughs> I think it was talking and then a match and I'm like, wow, this, John is, Cena. this is bad. <laughs> I am I am bored. It's like, what's some, like... Like fucking, it's like, oh, they're in a lock, and it's like, oh, they're just to fucking cuddle with each other, basically. <laughs> like, oh, I don't That's want to cute. watch, I don't want to watch this shit. What was, I was going to say, um, just it's like... It's not your turn. I'm, I'm not done speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <Stop. laughs> and it's like, you know, I haven't ever done that with a TNA impact, so there you go, TNA. Okay, now you can Do speak. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I was going to say, um... Jesse? Oh, well, okay. You actually my name for once. Well, he said it at the start. I wasn't listening to him. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for Father's Day, they released a whole bunch of things, and it was one with. Uh, Did you get me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Dad. <laughs> you were I said to my dad, like it was when Shut James still when we're on the podcast. <laughs> 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 now, now you table s- again. Now that you saw what happened to your brother, <laughs> you fucking ran through this kid. So it was that few when it was Gunner and uh, James Storm, God. and <laughs> James Storm fucking glass that fucking oh, yeah, Gunner's yeah, yeah, dad. Yeah. And um, I sent that to my dad for Father's Day, and he's just like, you didn't really get it. He's like, oh, that's a wrestling thing. Thanks. And it's just like, but he had sorry about your damn dad, and it's just like the beer bottle smashing over the guy's head. <laughs> And yeah, I thought that was cool. So I mean, that's not a, not really related, but <laughs> okay. well, you, it was a little. Um, okay, so for me, at the end of the day, um, you've got WWE Raw and you've got you know SmackDown as well. So you know, obviously, uh, SmackDown seems to be like the lesser cared of the two. Like they're just like it's like main event. Of... <laughs> it's no, it's the SmackDown. <laughs> but not have, like two others. Yeah, main well. event. But yeah. m- SmackDown is much better than Main Event. Main oh. Event's just like, Oh God, it's Fandango and he's betting El Torito! I had to, I had to explain <laughs> like that Main Event to somebody who doesn't give a shit about wrestling and they're just like, what wow. the fuck? That you're not going to change that? No, no, I'm just like, pretty much it's a bunch of random fucking matches. It's like, on the Monday, they'd be like, these guys are arch rivals in this angle and then it's like, on Wednesday, they're fucking, they're, best, they're tagging up against fucking some douchebag. <laughs> well, yeah. And then, back to Friday, it's just like, oh, look, they're enemies. And it's like, what the fuck? Doesn't, you love it. It's matches for match sake. Well, for Raw, I find that it's just nothing but talking. It's like talking, talking, talking. And, you know, I sit there and I'm just like, every time I fucking put on Raw, it just starts off and it's just like, 
Better than to that. Oh. Yeah, and like, and then Triple H comes out and he's just like doing his little. You said, you said the same <laughs> thing like a year ago. Oh fucking yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's the, the main problem. It's fucking. It needs a format change. There's just been and. The main thing is like well, after all the talking, you know, then you get a, a shitty five minute match, and then you you're fucking be an ad should break. Be There'll be an it ad is. break in the match as well because like fuck it, we don't care about the wrestling. And then it oh. comes back and it's just like, oh, do you want to see what happened in the ad break? Download the WWE app. No, 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 no. Oh, like I don't Mountain know. Do. They actually like you guys. I've got to ask you know. in the crowd if you're at a WWE live event, why are you chanting 9.99? I don't understand. Why? Cause they just like it's so fucking maybe, stupid. Maybe it's pumped. They literally the like yeah. You know, I was joking months ago. I'm like they should just make shirts that say 99, like 9.99. They literally have shirts now that says 9.99. How much do they it. cost? 9.99. But then See it's what they like, did That's so clever. But then it's just like post- <laughs> he's shaking his head violently <laughs> and, and saying no. <laughs> But then the Australian dollar, and it's just like, it's like, yeah, if you're not in America, bucks, yeah, <laughs> Australian tax, mate. Fuck you. Oh, but but yeah. He just rocks up in a kangaroo. Australian tax, mate. <laughs> oh, good, not again. No, no, it is a kangaroo. <laughs> and it's like, if you don't pay those bucks, yeah. Um, but look, it's just like, I honestly feel with the WWE, uh, they don't care about wrestling. The fact that they call it sports entertainment and they don't say pro wrestler or they say superstar. The thing that makes me most annoyed is the fact that they don't acknowledge anything else. Like on, you know, inbound for glory, they acknowledge the WWE and they acknowledge, oh, this person came from New Japan and, ah, uh, and they're even doing a fucking cross promotion with Wrestle 1 when like Kenta, who was a massive, you know, star overseas... <laughs> Comes to the NXT, one of the commentators, I can't remember who, because, you know, it's fucking, you know, the NXT crew that change every three seconds because they suck. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, welcome to the big leagues. Mm. I'm like, what? <laughs> welcome to the big leagues. <laughs> welcome to fucking a university where, you know, you wrestle for free because everyone on the campus is allowed to come in. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, welcome to the big leagues, dude, that's been headlining Japan. <laughs> in, oh, also, his name is Charles Hideo. Watch that. They change it. They change it from Kenta to Hideo because that way they have the copyright thing. Um, and the same thing with uh, Prince Devitt. Yeah, like, they've been... Um, he's showing... called, you know, the dude that painted himself like Venom and whatnot. And, uh, he, came yeah. out of the, and he was like leader of the Bullet Club in New Japan. I don't know, man. The leader of it. Well, you know, obviously that's all disappeared. There's no Bullet Club. And he's called Ooh. Finn Baylor. <laughs> what? Finn Baylor? What the he's fuck? He's that merman Finn that Baylor. Show. And yeah. so but they've been releasing photos of him like with a body uh, so yeah. everyone's like getting hyped and get hyped for Finn oh. Baylor but then again did you guys see that uh, TNA got uh, Brodus Clay and that's EC3's oh. new bodyguard oh fuck <laughs> so it's like um, hey, at least it's not Tenzai uh, his name is Tyrus <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. and like oh, I was just like Tyrannosaurus <laughs> <laughs> he's like shut up but I, I don't think look I, I think it's unfortunate but I think he was using the Funkasaurus gimmick for too long so he'll never go back to being he's on a roll he'll never go back to being menacing and he'll probably just end up calling his mama but um <laughs> look I just don't look that was bad. no I'm just saying I don't I think he'll ever be able to wash the Funkasaurus off him he said he liked the gimmick but you know if you're going to come out and be like Imposing heel, coming down the rampway, like you know how they it give everyone. That's his theme song. Yeah, <laughs> I'm self-aware. <laughs> the thing is, uh, eventually he would have had to job the Cena, so and then that would have been the death of his career anyway. Well, um, okay. Uh, Hell in a cell. We're, have you guys have probably seen Ooh. an ad for it on the internet yeah. somewhere? No. 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 Yes. I avoid yes. everything. Okay, so Ryan and I have both seen ads for, um, <laughs> you know, Hell in a Cell, where it's, you know, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. And the fucking poster Hell is fucking oh, Dean Ambrose. Yeah. So, you know, every that's, you know, advertising. With TNA, I have, I don't know the last time TNA was ever advertised. Like, ever. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's because you like them on Facebook. Facebook and Twitter. And so, yeah. You used to go shitty WWE matches, you should watch this. That <laughs> literally should be their slogan. They put, they put they, it on they Twitter. Put that, yeah, they yeah. put that on Twitter. Oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you want to come see some, it's like disappointed with uh, whatever the fucking, what was our last pay per view? I don't yeah. fucking care. It wasn't Money in the Bank, it was Night of Champions. Yeah, it's like disappointed with Night of Champions, shit. come watch TNA on like, and it's like Thursday. Or was nights. it Battlegrounds? It was whatever. Shit. It was, it no, was, it was Battlegrounds. Yeah, because we were just like, living up to the expectation, disappointment. <laughs> But, um, mm. look, I hope that, you know, with Hell in a Cell, 
you know, it's only going to be the one fucking match. They usually only do two matches in the cell now. I don't know why. If, they, if, if well, that. It was yeah. like, they still saying the other day, it's like, Triple H teases about bringing... <laughs> why is... <laughs> okay, so I could see it. But Ryan was... Ro- he's like, Triple H starts robbing nipple teases. <laughs> <laughs> about bringing the cell to Raw. I'm you like, he won't. Really. Or be like... Like, he won't. Fuck you. Like, Ryan's just sitting there, like, with his TV dinner, and watching Ryan, and like, Triple H teases, bring the cell to Ryan. He uh, won't! Uh, oh, so no, he won't! He's like, throw your fucking TV dinner away. It's cold anyway! Shut up! Oh, like you're fucking stable. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but, uh, I told you about that Corp, bullshit. Like, corpse of the wrestling industry. <laughs> Thanks. Go beat that dead horse! <laughs> Vince, why are you Dad. beating me? Vince, Vince, Vince why are himself. you beating me? Why are you <laughs> beating me? So yeah, it's like... <laughs> so, what I'm pissed off Look, is I'm that... selling, Vince. No! No, you got to act like you're in pain! I'm selling. I'm in pain. Why, oh, Vince? Mm, uh, mm. I'm going to uh, overcome. I'm going to get stronger. And I'm going to pin you at WrestleMania, Vince. Ah, oh, fucking someone left the John Cena pot on! <laughs> <laughs> What was it that fucking photo? It's just like they photoshopped John Cena shows it's like uh, never give up, always, or is it latch onto someone else's storyline? Yeah! And, and <laughs> make sure you bury them and destroy all talent in the company and make yourself better. That's a big got, fucking chat. Yeah, it was just like this massive long And he's got shit. just the ego to match. So. <laughs> and just the shitty body. But okay. Yeah, what I was about to say is like, what I'm pissed off is like, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose was supposed to be the main event, and they're just like. Wasn't that supposed to be the main event like six months ago? Yeah. Basically. But then it's like. <laughs> it was, you're just like, ago. yeah. And then you're just moving on. <laughs> like you're the board meeting in WWE. And you're trying to sell it to me. Got a fuckboy bucket head. So, you guys want to see Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins? I thought the Shield broke up like six months ago, and wasn't that supposed to be them? No, I'm Roman. Uh, okay, <laughs> sh- sh- shut the fuck up. Um, okay. Roman's just. You see Roman Reigns? What? <laughs> it's like he's serving tea to them. What? <laughs> I think that. Isn't it strange that, you know, uh, Roman Reigns was the most over member of the stable, like when they were the Shield, but now everyone's you know, going for Dean Ambrose? But I mean, like, even before he was injured, people were like, on. He's so edgy. I'm gonna start calling them Ambrose. <laughs> Ambrose. But yeah, so it's just like. That's probably know, a thing. Yeah, probably. I, uh, but it's just like, it's just everyone's got on the Ambrose thing now. And I, I can understand that because he's like, you know, he is Good. that CM Punk guy. And the fact that, and that's who the modern people latch onto, which is a rumor that I've, I've told some of you guys, but <clears throat> in TNA, there are rumors that they have. Tried to sign a contract with CM Punk to bring him there. Yeah, now, but they tried to sign a I'm contract really with Alberto Del Rio when he left. But here's the thing. Would CM Punk bring... Like, I know that I, you know, I can respect his, you know, body of work, but I, 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 I'm not particularly a fan of his anymore. I mean, if he... But would that be the push that TNA would need for, like, a whole bunch of people to bring eyes to their right, Everyone would just be like, holy shit, all those CM C- Punk fans would just be like, bam, <laughs> straight on there. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Sometimes you get a winner, Ryan. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some, sometimes there's a diamond. <laughs> diamond in the rough. But it's like, if you, if you, it depends. It's like, yeah, people would watch, but if he was just going to be like, I'm just going to take a safe on a corner for like that Royal Rumble again. Do people care about that though? Are people just, they don't care. Oh, most if people you watch would. watch WWE, I don't think you care about the wrestling. I think you care about the personalities. Because if, if you watch TNA, do you? If, you? if you watch TNA, I think that, you know, you watch it for the in-ring stuff. Like, you, you watch it and you're just like, oh, okay, Kurt what can we do here? Because he's just like, cut out all this fucking talk bullshit. Ah. Yeah. And talk with your fist. And it's just like, you know, um, people love the personalities there, but it's like they've got the skills to back it up. And TNA actually takes its wrestling seriously, it seems. So, you know, once you've got... Would CM Punk be enough to, you know, provide... TNA with, you know, a reason for people to buy their pay-per-views. Uh, I think it would. I think it would be the step that they need to be over. But the thing is, um, I don't think he would work. He'd just be like, CM Punk would come out and he would go, oh, it's CM Punk. And I he's got this, like, fucking same. massive big gut. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> where he's, like, I really want same. CM Punk to walk through the door right now and just start <laughs> fucking punching you, Ryan. Just because, like, <laughs> say he got out of shape that quickly. Uh, and just, like... No, I just imagine that he's, like, not what doing anything. But people would be like, yeah, it's Sam Punk! And he's just like, he just drinks another beer. He has to run from school Ooh, every that, day. That's, yeah. that's changing. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't fucking... Yeah, shit. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Mac? Because out of everyone, you always hated CM Punk. So. I don't think he'd be the same. In what regard? 
Well, it's like towards like the end of him being before he left. Yeah. And it's like, well, uh, when he came back. Yeah, yeah. That period, he just wasn't the same guy anymore. Do you think that was because he was over the WWE or was he over wrestling? I'm not sure. It could it could be either, or it could be both. From from what I've heard is like, if he does come, it's just like here's the belt. Did you hear that from AJ? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're besties. Okay. Cost seven bucks. <laughs> Nine ninety nine. Watch it on the network. AJ Lee and some Australian douchebag. Get on. I like that's how I'm built. Yeah. Yeah. Australian douchebag. Yeah. Well, are you gonna complain about that title? No. Because <laughs> that's you now, newbie. <laughs> Some Australian douchebag. But um, so many times. Look, uh, the thing I'd be worried about is now he I'm would be one. arguably the biggest name there at that point, and people would come in and they'd be like, "Who are these other fucking guys?" And you'd either get one of two things: people would go there and start, you know, ruining the show in the fact that they'd be like CM Punk, and when he wasn't out there, just constantly chanting him because he has a cult following now. Yeah, you've seen he's been gone for months, and they still chant. You would say yeah. he's a or cult it's... of personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, but yeah, I'm not yeah, going yeah, to. Yeah, um, yeah, so yeah. it's like. Um, <laughs> or was it whenever we see Nate, like, <laughs> see, um, whenever they, we take a piss break uh, for the Divas match and AJ's out there, everyone's just like, CM Punk, CM Punk. Yeah, well, we've covered that in previous things. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> very politely. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not always very polite. Yeah, the of it. We know. What about you, Jesse? Do you think, what do you think about that? Would you like to turn on Impact and see CM Punk there or you don't? Uh... It depends, like... Can you see his appeal for, like, the newer generation? Okay, so all I care about is if he actually wrestles. Okay. Like, if he shows his talent, I'll be like, yes, like, thanks. you fucking giving us, like, a, a nice burst of fucking people watching. Do yeah. You, do you think... But if he just sits there and just does the same shit he usually did, like, nah, fuck, fuck off. What if Tino gave him a contract where he only talked? Like, he would just... God, no, no that works so well for Hulk Hogan. Yeah, but apparently they would be willing to pay him Hulk Hogan money. Just to talk. Well, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, it's never a good idea. But, but the thing is, like like Hulk Hogan up. today, would you say he would have the same amount of impact as CM Punk today? I'm not saying that they're equal. Hulk Hogan, you know, yeah. father yeah. of the blah, blah, blah. Don't care, Ryan's here. <laughs> yeah. um, he would um, probably jerk off on enough Hulk Hogan for all of us here. So, um, just a little bit. Excuse uh, me, I need to go. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, CM but, Punk, there's, I don't know why, but brought in a whole bunch of people. People are going around, they've got like... Everywhere I looked back in like 2012, 2013, CM Punk shirts everywhere. I even had one myself. I, you know, because I was happy because I was like, holy shit, people are actually coming in and watching this guy now. It's like, I've been watching him since 2009 and stuff and even some of his earlier stuff in Ring of Honor. And it's just like, people are liking him. I'm not one of those people that's like, no, he's mine. I have to keep it to myself. <laughs> I was so happy to see that people like, I was like, maybe the business is going to go in this direction with him and uh, go, and it's Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> no, we are dumb to see that. But he's, Proved himself to be like some icon in the fact that he's gone for months. There's not a word. Pictures of him are removed constantly from the WWE website. And yet people constantly chant his name. Well, people stalk him for yeah, people. Yeah, he can't go, put his like uh, rubbish outside because if he does, people will, you know, wait for him and they'll just wait in the alleyway near his bins. And that's like... Yeah, that's just super fucking creepy. Yeah, everyone needs to get off his dick. But it's like... He would, I honestly think that he would provide, you know, to ev the star power to TNA and everyone would tune in. And he's, you know, in, if you were to say give the same money to Hulk Hogan or give the same money to CM Punk, well, I think it would be smarter to give it to CM Punk. Yeah, well, because you get, you get, you get, you get he can also, he can work. work. Yeah. yeah, you get that bang for your buck and they're like, I'm a Hulk, like a massive Hulk maniac. Oh, and I'm like, you fucking know. yeah, but I'm like, I do not want to see Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan wrestle ever again because he will die. I don't care. He I would, want to see him yeah, wrestle. one night. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see him live up to those fucking words against Brock Lesnar. Oh, well, he like he's like he wants to be disrespected Cena. me, brother, and I just think that we should go at it in the ring like <laughs> men. <laughs> Paige comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you, can beat him. you can't deal with me, Hulk, until you deal with Paige. I'm a lesbian, though, sort of. Because Maybe. I'm a man that likes uh, Paige, I guess. <laughs> you don't even know she doesn't even oh, know. It works. But if if CM Punk does come to like TNA, hopefully like uh, maybe Nate might work him to, into shape. Maybe, like. I he, think he's got ring rust. Yeah, I, I think he do. He would. Oh, yeah, yeah, does. I think he do. Uh, I think he does because uh, as Mac was saying, the last couple of months he didn't do fuck all. 
It was well, he very... can't even leave his house, so you can't do no, no, shit. No, I mean, in the ring. It's not like the stalkers are, like, at the... Well, well, that's, well that's, that's also, too. You can't yeah. leave his house, so he's not doing shit. Well, speaking of Hulk Hogan, uh, oh, he's no. literally been lobbying for WrestleMania 31, Hulk Hogan versus John Cena. No, Sarah. no, and, like, as... Maybe they both die! <laughs> yeah. uh, I would I'd, agree to this I'd match if it was a Japanese, like, New Japan death match. <laughs> Where it was like barbed wire from ropes, and then it's like an explosion that goes off. Who was that? Um, fucking Terry Funk. Funk. Yeah, yeah, he just stands in the middle. He's like, I'm not even gonna fucking escape. We're just, oh man, That's so good. humble. Terry Funk's amazing. So humble. But <laughs> shut up. Every time you go, Terry Funk's so humble. You're just jacking him up for him. That's why he's humble because Ryan says all his praises for him. Uh, humble all over me. Oh, he's manager. Put yeah. humble all over my face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Always gonna be humble. <laughs> so obviously, since uh, you're the biggest Hulk Hogan fan here, if you don't want to see it, none of us fucking want to see a Cena match. So. He, he will fucking, he will die. Good, <laughs> but we want to see that. no, but it's just like he not even, not even. Yeah, but that's his job. He, he takes no, his job. Yeah. Yeah. by the ring. Um, <laughs> but he knew, he knew when his time was to leave. So. Like, would Are you... you fucking wanting to go there? You don't bring up it's that. Time to leave TNA and just leave him to die. What a, what a great man. But yeah, even the WWE is like, nah. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. It's because he just we'll like leaves there. him to die and just fucking walks out. Fucking. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, um, even the WWE has said, no, Hulk, this would damage your reputation if you fucking <laughs> like. The sex tape didn't. <laughs> so we're going to quickly go over the rest of it. Also, you can watch the sex tape for 9 um, you can. <laughs> so, um, Bro. we're going to go over the rest of the wrestling stuff before we, you know, jump topics. Uh, okay, one of the main things was just other WrestleMania 31 rumours. Um, okay, so the other rumours that are going about, Sting will make some sort of, you know, showing at some capacity. Awesome. Um... I would just like to say, who would you like to see? Because some people have said Sorry. Undertaker, <laughs> like Sting versus Undertaker, and you know I would understand why because they're like, he's got no strength to lose. This WCW is, this is like, this only in chance, your face. It's the only chance we'll ever have to see that match. And yeah. everyone wants that. Where the female versus like the crew. And it, it would literally be like, oh well, guess what, Sting? If you you can't take away Undertaker's like streak. And since you're a WCW guy and a TNA guy, that means that, you know, it's safe. That no one can take anything away from the WWE. I see them being, like, close-minded enough so they're like, yeah, that, that can happen now because the streak's gone. Because there was no way that they would ever let, you know, someone from WCW originally just take off the streak. No. Um, he has to come out as Beach Bum Sting, though. He has to come out as, like, the Beach Sting, like, Surfer yeah. Sting. <laughs> Damn. 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 He has to get saved by Robert Bob. <laughs> in the middle of the match. The four for him can't match. Think Robocop versus Undertaker. Versus Undertaker and Kane. Retirement match. Holy shit. Why the hell Please. Kane? Please make that happen. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I'm um, going to have a three-tiered cage. Okay, so the other thing oh. is... Uh, Tower if Sting yeah. doesn't go up against the Undertaker, uh, some of the other things that have been thrown out there are Sting, Cena... No. no, fuck off. No, because fucking boo, enough Cena people boo. have been buried. <laughs> Every There's single like, week. Boo, Cena, it's, boo. <laughs> it's like, there are more people now buried by so fuckboy really. Buckethead <laughs> than people that like, got mummified in Egypt. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so, it's written someone on Wikipedia, I bet. <laughs> if not, it was. Edited by Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Tutankhamun was put down by John Cena. <laughs> he, he was buried, him. literally. 3,000 years ago. It was predicted. <laughs> That John Cena would retire. They sacrificed him to their god Cena. <laughs> but, and it's just like, um... Did you mention Ron Marks? The other people that are slated to go, you know, rumoured for Sting, Sting versus Triple H. Mm-hmm. Right, oh, I've heard Triple H express interest. Yeah, and I think that, you know, Triple H works slow and methodically anyway, so, you know, even if Sting hasn't been wrestling that much, then, you know, that would be, uh... It'd be decent enough, and I think that well, uh, gets, Triple H is now at the point rules. in his career where he's like pretty much running the show that he's like, I, I am okay to lose. Couldn't now. you extreme rules? Even though his ego is so fucking huge. Um, it's always been huge, right? Okay, here's the problem I see with extreme rules. Triple oh, H, boy. yes, because he's young. Sting, it's like they Ooh. brought him in for a Legends contract, and they're like, the minute that we fuck him up and we can't <laughs> use that Legends contract anymore, we're just okay. paying him six thousand dollars, you know, every week for no reason, pretty much. I mean, um, I, I think, what was day. it, there might, One like, day. if it was a Triple H versus Sting match, I think that how it might go down, like, Pedigree, be like, Pedigree, Pedigree. <laughs> I am not. Pedigree, 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 Pedigree. Man, come Sting. 
Pedigree. It might not be an extreme rules match, but the baseball bat might be used just to everyone will be like, yeah. I was surprised that you were going to say there would be a sledgehammer. I want a baseball bat sledgehammer lightsaber. That would be really cool. That one? But no, a, a baseball bat light, sledgehammer lightsaber duel. <laughs> How about a chainsaw <laughs> fight? <laughs> okay, so. Um, and any other suggestions that people have like brought up? Not for Sting, but here are the other things um, Triple H versus The Rock. Would you be interested in that? No. Nope. Not, not really, because I, I don't give like a fuck about The Rock anymore. He he had his chance and he came back and ruined everything. I don't give a fuck about Triple H. <laughs> well, his fault. I um, told him to lose. For money. <laughs> you wouldn't take money, money, money if you could. It was a lot of well, money. Well, the main thing Ryan's talking about <laughs> is they, they asked, you like they asked dollars Stone Cold the same Cena. thing, yeah, and he said no. Stone Cold's like, fuck you! Because Stone Cold has Stone money. Cold. Yeah, he's... Here's the other thing. Um, they're going to do... How would you feel about Batista coming back for one final run? I don't think he has any reason to because he's making more money in Hollywood than he would probably make. Yeah, and for he would just get rich. the shit out of him. Yeah, everyone, yeah, everyone got pissed like, off. He's, he's him. never going to get a good retirement. He won't retirement get back for the then. fans. He's never going to get a good retirement match. Uh, unless, I, I like un- Batista. Like, unless you. Yeah, but it's just unfortunate that everyone hates the him. The only way I can reason. see that now working is they tag him up with fucking Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Look, the only way I can see that working is if they have fucking. More than he said. No, Star Lord, whatever his actor, you know, how they get fucking. Chris Pat. Yeah, whoever, you know how get they the get raccoon. wow. You know uh, how they get random know actors, he's also yeah. like random rich. actors to come to Raw and shit. Mm. If you get him to come in with like the Guardians of the Galaxy, because you know everyone jizzes on the Guardians of the Galaxy, so oh, still in, haven't seen it. They so won't hard. hate him if he's like, oh no, it's not Batista, it's Drax. Also Batista. I don't know what skin well, condition. So Batista guy. was in the movie Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what Drax is. That's his character's name. Is he bad or good? Uh good, good guy. Yeah. Even though he's a criminal. Well, See, I want to see the hero shit. Yeah. But, like, uh, yeah, I like how you looked at me. It's like. Oh, no, I'm going to fucking look at Maka. <laughs> Tell Mac- me all the more. Maka all Marvel. fucking Marvel. <laughs> it's shit. It's your one joke. It's your one joke. Pretty much. Tell us about Marvel. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to moisturize my face. Oh, face. Ah, Triple H. Shut up. Triple H jizz. The other one's moisturizing your face. Yeah, no, he, he's literally my, moisturizing My eyelashes are, like, stuck in the corner of my eyes. And I'm like, oh, it's like Triple H jizz. No, they're so long. Okay, so while we let baby so newbie wash his eyelashes or whatever he's doing, the other thing that uh, Jesse Macca, um, Stone Cold versus The Rock. Mm. Would you guys like to see that, or are they too old now? I just want to see Stone Cold. Yeah, just can you come out like a beer on his face. And just... Do you think that is what? the worst move the WWE can do in the fact that it's just no. like we're not the having the worst move they can talent. make is, is push Cena. Do you think it? I, do you think They've it's been doing that for years? Ten so years, it's... ten years strong. So like <laughs> ten years of bullshit. Thanks, thanks WWE. I'm a douche. I'm a douche. <laughs> so they need I, to isn't... cut back on it a bit. Yeah, you know? they need to push. So if you go, some hey, guys. here's the main event, guys oh, from God. yesteryear. Maybe he was just like like um like not a main event, but just like in the car. Who's gonna yeah. top them though? Who's gonna be Cena? They need, they need First Cena's Cena. clone, Blina. <laughs> Ray Mysterio. Blina. See him first. Or <laughs> the sadder thing versus John Cena's clone Roman Reigns. Oh, oh. they should the Irish Cena. because they're gonna <laughs> Irish Cena, Cena Light, <laughs> Cena Max, Cena Fella. <laughs> But, um, Have you seen a fella? I'm <laughs> <laughs> looking for somebody. Have you seen a fella? Have you seen a fella? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't find that believable. I, I don't like you, Seamus. I haven't seen a fella in ages. <laughs> what, are you, what are you even talking about, Cena? Yeah, we're just going to go out there and have a match. Who are you? I don't know anyone. <laughs> I'm John Cena. Are you like the jobber here? I'm like, uh, all, all I answer to is uh, Mr. Yes, McMahon's dick. Which I suck pleasurably every night. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, the wires! <laughs> Let me win again. It was Jesse's facial expressions while he was doing it. I couldn't keep a straight face. Oh, I'll oh, try to be the fucking middle of that. Okay. You love my, my facial so expressions. So, that is all the wrestling stuff. Now, I'm actually oh, gonna. No, 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 no. We, we've got stuff. He's consulting Wikipedia. The Wikipedia, which has a picture. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, is God. that the book that is It's Durant? Naked Cena again, isn't it? No, in fact, we're going to talk about uh, something that we've already spoken about. So I'm going to think of a way to... We've spoken a, a lot of shit. Think of a way to somehow make this work. <laughs> Ryan's like half blind. 
<laughs> He's a Terminator. <laughs> you should have gotten it in your eyes, right? <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, <laughs> well... <laughs> some... Jesus. It's good moisturiser, but don't do it in your eyes. Oh, no. Oh, I'm blind. Hulkster, no, I can't take it. <laughs> but, um... Okay, oh, so... Just get, get this going. <laughs> you know, s speaking of underage sex, oh, that anime Maka. season... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's go to the expert. What the fuck are you talking about? You I'm and your talking about session. anime, and you like anime. anime. You like anime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Lily Collins. So Lord. obviously, oh, um, well, we we that's uh, right. that's we've, that's we've, we've uh, talked about uh, some of the anime stuff. But how do you guys feel overall about the season of anime that's come out? Do you feel it's strong? Or uh, it from what we've seen, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> from what we've seen, it's been better than last season. Half of it's hype as fuck. The other half is really I was looking forward to. So I'm pretty pleased. With Could you name those for the people on the podcast? Uh, I, Can you I've name been... anything Japanese? <laughs> Japanese? No, nah. Natsu no Taizai. Guitar. What is <laughs> Is that a thing you watch? That's seven days. Like the, the dragon sword? Dildo. The broken <laughs> dragon sword. <laughs> broken. broken <laughs> yes, that was that one. Yeah. That's it. All right. What so you know that, Stuart? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not interested. Find out what I'm talking about for 9 and 9. All right. So it's like I've read. Um, Terraformers, Seven Deadly Sin, and all of Parasite. How do you, or well, how do you feel about the adaptation of Parasite? Do you think it's staying true? Well, it's like it's. I was, I saw like, like the the trailer before yeah, yeah. it, and people was like, oh, I'm bitching about it. Like, oh no, it's too soft and yeah, and stuff. And it's like no, it makes the the gore and violence better because it's like it gives it a nicer contrast. Mm. It's like, oh, it's all slice how of life. How you, oh. And how do you... His face is gone. I was going to say, how do you feel about Bugs 2? Bugs 2? Oh, dear. Bugs Life 2. I know things. <laughs> so, but it's, it, it looks cool. And how do you feel about the fact that it's, like, a shit ton of censorship? Like, sometimes half black I screen. hate that. It's like, even, it's like I had the same qualm with JoJo's. JoJo! Stardust Crusades, because <laughs> it's like... It's like, um, what was it? The so cigarette like, in one of the early episodes? or Yeah, I thought that was really... Well, the smoke, you can't touch the guy smoking. No, no, it, Jotaro was smoking, and it's like, they covered his face black, <laughs> but his cigarette wasn't... Yeah, That's just you shadow Jotaro. I think you like contrast. That was a contrast. <laughs> yeah, it's like Every... nothing and everything. <laughs> picture and black. it's like, it's oh, like there's like yeah. a few scenes where it's like, it's just black, and it's like, no, what's the fucking point of even animating this shit? We're just gonna black it out. Well, hey, it could just be a still screen and be a tanks rumble, rumble, rumble. It's like, like, oh, like, like a world trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Digimon Rip Off. No, that's get... what it is. It's not gonna that's not get... what it is at all. It is to the end of time. Ha yes, but I'm happy. That's it. Man, I'm fucking sick of marathon swimming, but oh, that fucking rip off raw. <laughs> that's what you're saying. Oh, that thing. How about that? My best friend's a merman. <laughs> that's fucked up. I heard you loved it. <laughs> I heard it was your favourite. I heard yeah, you just watched I, it for hours. It's like 50 minutes ahead. I heard you. <laughs> on repeat. Yeah. I had it on loop. <laughs> just jacking off, take that long. Nah. Not enough moments. I don't, it's even, built to last. I don't, I don't even have to jack off. It's like to look at it. It's like, mmm, you. <laughs> it's automatic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. There you go, that makes the video. No, right. I didn't Ooh. like it. I didn't like that one. Next time, oh, please. Fuck you. <laughs> I will keep watching it, though. Oh, so we're just going to get next topic without going to Jesse. How, Jesse. How, well, no, I just heard of me because I can't remember any of the names. But if well, you describe something, you hopefully I can one? be able to. I want the, okay, the one with the... Um, Please the, don't abuse me. The, <laughs> the one with the Saint Seiya transformations with the witch... Garo! Yeah, the hypest Garo. shit in the world. Yeah. Oh, that was, um, that one was like okay, the, the one. Edgy. Okay, so Parasite would look interesting. I like to see more of it just because it just seems weird. Yeah. yeah, I like how it, it seems like it's like it. We're all doing weird. And the problem, the problem is like, like wait, okay. it's it. I guess it's supposed to be unsettling, but I don't find it unsettling. <laughs> I just find it interesting how it moves. You find the hand adorable. It yeah. is. I find it funny that was yeah, we voted the third is. cutest thing in those oh, animes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, it's like oh, oh. Hulk is adorable. Of course, that um that thing with like the seven deadly was it seven, seven deadly, deadly yeah, scenes. Yeah, that looked interesting. I want I want to see more of that because it's got some such rave reviews from Mac over there. <laughs> Jack uh, off his hand. 
I can't help it. I can't help but like when you said that word, I had to look over at Ryan and just be like, any moment what now. His <laughs> eyes still come to you. He's like, yeah, <laughs> tell, tell me the story. The eyelashes are like, oh, man. Red beard I, wants to know more about the jacket. I, I've tried like this for fucking the last like half an hour okay, trying to get man. eyelashes Here's out Here's a of secret. My eye. If you want to hunt down, if you're playing Monster Hunter and you want to hunt down the Ryan, the key is to throw an eyelash in his eye. <laughs> because he's from one weakness. <laughs> he is having so much trouble right now. He's like yeah, holding it to We might even just put a photo up. Yeah. You look yeah, really, yeah. you look in pain. <laughs> he's like, it's irritating. It's, it's like his bit. eyeball is puffed up as he well. Looks, looks, looks like a Bukaki victim that washed his face. His, uh, his right eyelid is like just puffed up. Oh, he's been punched by Cena. <laughs> He's been you can sell him good, guys. Oh, I had to sell so hard. <laughs> is this, is that all you look left? What? Of this season. Please. Well, those three things are the main ones I can remember. <laughs> I've only seen one episode. It takes me a while for these things to sink into my head. Uh, but it's like, well, that's enough son? for you. What's that? <gasps> that's right. I is that that comedy thing? Yeah. It, it's like the little With, girl. The yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay, yeah, I want to see that. That like, was good. We've yeah. been through all of this, though. Yeah, I'm just The ones like... that weren't rape and lollicon I liked. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Turns to Ryan. What the about ones you? That weren't the the ones, ones that I were raping Lollicon. The ones that were raping Lollicon. That's Mac is the part. Other Mac is the part. No. Oh, no. Bad Your other eyes about to get fucked up. By the other Mac. He's <laughs> <laughs> facing the Lollicon. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm simply ravishing. Oh. Every time to segue from that. Dude. 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 Enough of yeah. disgusting talk. <laughs> Is anyone looking forward to any games coming out this month? No. There are games coming out this month? Yeah, it's fucking October. Name them. Yeah. Um, Alien what? Isolation. Don't care. That's already out. Pre -sequel. Don't care. Lame. Um, Lame. Lame. I had to do slowly getting forward to Macca's. You didn't go in for the kiss. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, you, Evil Within. I like the tea. I, like I, I heard it was terrible, that. but I also heard it was great. I don't know. It's very <laughs> frustrating out here. Uh, so it's average. Not scary and frustrating. Well, it's from Bethesda, so I have mixed feelings about it. Oh, fuck it. Bethesda. Fuck you, Bethesda, you piece of shit. Finish your game. Explain. Explain so people don't get angry at you. Because they will. Okay, okay. okay so... I'm angry. That's okay, so... Okay, so first off, Skyrim and Oblivion and stuff, like... Okay, they're, is... they're interesting <laughs> games, and I enjoy, like, all those quests and stories and stuff. But just the, from the technical standpoint, they're just broken as shit. When you have to rely on your fans to fix your own fucking game. And they do, which fucking pissed me off too. <laughs> like it's just it's just retired. Okay, so and I played I played, I played one Bethesda game on like um console that was like it was it wet? Yeah. And that game just it just looks terrible. The game feels terrible. I, I, like every terrible. single time, I hate that fucking entry. It's like yeah. stepping in dog I shit. I fucking know, I played like five minutes ago No, board. because I remember that we had that's a friend in our bad. group that I'm not going to name, which automatically means that it's not Ethan, because we'd probably just call yeah. him out immediately. Yeah. But <laughs> I, who was literally obsessing over that certain game, because I think it was Eliza Dushku, or someone like he knew as an actress that was the main chick in it. And anyway, so that's how I heard about it the most time. Uh, yeah, that's totally yeah. Right. yeah. Um, but um, what yeah, oh, I guess. Uh, I'll make us guess who it was. So. <laughs> you you're a map to me. You're a map to me. I did. Nothing more. <laughs> Slower. Closer. <laughs> I can't think you're serious. What are you saying about that? <laughs> well, I don't care anymore. Fine, then you ruin the mood. No, the mood was too intense. Um. Okay, so we've also got Bayonetta. Two. I, I would like to play it, but I don't know. I play the, I'll play the first one first. <laughs> yeah, if, I, yeah. if I like that, I'll play the next one. We'll, we'll, we'll go from there. I, I've actually been thinking of getting a Wii U so I can play it. I'm going to make the right choice. So I can ignore it all. And then it's like, oh, you can get one and do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, you're playing up playing it. The first game on Wii U, though, Stuart. The first game on Wii U. Oh, uh, the f what I bought the Wii U for Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Did you actually play it and finish it? Did. Yep. Did, 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 did you did you love it? I did love it. Did you jizz in your pants a bit? That's uh, you not a bit. It was more like a for, lot. simultaneously <laughs> for a week. A lot. Uh, doctors had to come in. They flew in a doctor from Germany. That's why he was just like nine, <laughs> nine. <laughs> it's on my leg. It's leaving. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. Well, um, I like the looks at Sunset Overdrive. That's a shame. See, yeah. but um, see, every time I, I see I that, like Russian Plank Human Edition. Every time I see Sunset well, Overdrive right, advertised, right, I have like the I JoJo. feel so oh, fucking bad for you, right? I'm Keep blind. Going. Leave me alone. But yeah, just Poor the um, Sunset Overdrive is <laughs> like the JoJo voice. <laughs> I'm like, but, but 
I knew it would never live up to the hype. Nothing will. Right. You dislocated his shoulder. Yeah, that's not the sound you make. But yeah, October yeah, and November are usually the months yeah. where a whole bunch of stuff like. comes out. Well, so. yeah, because it's like Christmas. Come in it's like, give and me yeah, so I am getting none money. game, no game, no, it's none game. I'm getting none game, none <laughs> game. <laughs> Under. What about you, Stuart? Me? Um, I don't have any money until I finish <laughs> what I am working on, which maybe is going to. Ex- maybe you'll get something for your birthday if you mention it in this podcast. Uh, <laughs> it's not like. Oh, a- tell us for Christmas. Oh, I don't Christmas. fucking know. Maybe someone. Well, wants. I don't want anyone in this group to get me anything, so I'm not going to say. Oh, anything. what? You don't want the anthrax? Oh, do you know how hard it is to buy this shit? You're not even drinking that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm baking it. You look so that. awful. So, <laughs> like a picture of that shit, it's gross. Um, so... <laughs> that was Jazzy. It'll <laughs> that, that, be the picture for the podcast. Everyone <laughs> please download it. <laughs> oh, God, please help. I was going to say, you take your step forever and be a picture just like, as someone... No, fuck it. It wasn't an Ethan sign man up to fucking uh, dating oh, site. Oh. This <laughs> is the dating site photo. It's just, hey, ladies. Hey, <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> um, but instant um, replies. <laughs> you like Blaze Blue? And that's one of the reasons that I'm not doing so <laughs> much like videos Jeremy. on the channel is because I've been, you know, working a bit and I've got, you know, I've got to be doing a whole bunch He's more a work. Bee. I'm a busy bee. So anyway, like, um, like how do you guys Blaise like a question that has been sent to us? Yes. <laughs> Ryan loves questions. He so Ryan, Ryan can read it out then. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't, can't see. see. Oh, that's a shame. I can't see. So if your question. If oh, I'm not on the ever uh, <laughs> Why did you do this to oh, no. <laughs> He's, He's breaking it. down, man. Huh? Okay. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. So, I'm fucking... Macca, you get to re- read it out then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's not even your eyes, it's your face. <laughs> no, it's everything. Okay, so that, I've been their name and that's their question. Could you read that out? So, who is that question coming from? The question is from Rick Step. So, Stuart, how come you like the new 52 DC? <laughs> D- oh no! How do you like the new Fifty Two? DC is trash now. Is that his Marvel <laughs> is killed it in the box office. Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh shit! Can I just say Rick? That's how I'm reading it. Rick Rick Step was it? Rick Rick Rick, Rick Step. Yeah. Uh, step or Step. step. Oh, step. I, I was going to say, really change your name it. to Rick Step and it'll be a dance, like, you'll be a dance sensation. Oh, like, shut <laughs> up. Shut the fuck up, Rick and Morty. Well, he says... Oh, no, Rick. Rick Step. Oh, no, Rick. Step. <laughs> said, fuck Sorry that man. we're fucking your name up. It's I can't read job. it. I thought he was good at talking, I swear. <laughs> I'm better than you. Okay, so... Oh. Um, oh, the question I was, the voice of an angel. uh, uh so, from what I heard, <laughs> how come I like the new 52 and then the rest was like subjective, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's subjective. They are literally killing uh, in the box. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. I can't no, see. No, uh, Marvel that, is, They made a lot of way of tweens. They're doing a lot. Uh, they're doing well in the box office. Yeah, but office. to be, to be fair, you, you, they would be killing it because what DC movie has been out recently? Uh, exactly. Man. But did you see that that new schedule that got put yeah, out? Yeah, there's a yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah, there's going to be a whole Wonder Woman oh, film. Yeah. Cool. And so, and there's going to be okay. So <laughs> guys, just so all of you know, there's going to be a Flash movie as well, which means that is it, the movie is, is going to be probably Flash? different from the TV series. Yes, because I've seen it and it's and nice skimp suits. Nice skimp suits. <laughs> it's something. So there's also going to be a Aquaman movie starring Jason Momoa. I cared a lot about I do. that. I know. It's you just know. it's just my best friend's a merman. <laughs> <laughs> just Aquaman's in his bathtub. I'm I'm cold. Jesus. <laughs> oh, um, and there's a new was it, Green Lantern office? movie. There's a new Green Lantern movie. Hopefully, it's a different Green Lantern. There's a new Shazam movie. Ooh, with Shazam. Rock. <laughs> Rock's gonna be the Black Adam. Who? R- rock. Oh, like the rock. He's yeah, gonna, gonna be black out of And Same there's way. going to be a cyborg film and I no I Martian Manhunter film. I don't care Ooh, about cyborg. Like, Who cares about cyborg? I like cyborg. I like cyborg. Would you want a whole movie about him though? In Teen Titans. I don't like him in Justice League. Would you want a whole movie just about Cyborg though? <clears throat> I, could, I don't know. I don't, they're, they're obviously bully up for for a fucking Justice League movie, so it's gonna be just like cyborg. My right? main they should issue... build up for a Teen Titans movie, that's better. No, okay, so my main issue... He's trying to get buried. Yeah, if you're thinking they're building him up for a team sign. No, <laughs> yeah, no. Draymond, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Tommy's but... Draymond. Tommy's Draymond. Draymond. I want it to happen. Zack Snyder's on the phone. He says he wants to make a Teen Titans film, Dad. Tommy's Draymond. Draymond. But, um... Okay, so... <laughs> uh, 
my main issue with Cyborg is just the fact that it's like he took my favorite character's spot in the Justice League, <laughs> and I was like, no, Martian Manhunter. I eventually, you know, came to like him, but it, it, for the start, I was like, why? You're getting the tech guy, like he, Batman does the same he, thing he for the normal. He takes everyone's jobs in Justice League. Batman That's why I don't anymore. like him in Justice League. He's Batman like, oh, I can't like, do... Him and Beast Boy are my favorite, like, exactly. bros in all of it. Oh, That's why it's like, the, I like him in Teen Titans, but it's like Beast Boy and... Cyborg. It's like, yeah. But yeah, I just think that's pretty shit how they're just like, alright, I'm gonna take everyone else's job to make me look good. That's Batman. Yeah. Yeah. You just Batman it. Fuck oh, Batman! <laughs> I got so insane today, Bryce Stewart and it pissed me right Now we, right we can't say because can, of spoilers. We can't tell that. <laughs> okay, so I we'll talk about this mad. after the podcast because it is a big spoiler and it literally came out today. It was like leaked. It came out? Uh, no. He came to play? That would be interesting actually. I'm gay. But it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> we know. I'm a lot like one. <laughs> Other Macca, what are you saying? <laughs> um, but, uh... You're Other Macca. No, I mean, um, I Macca. Sound so, it's like, been the get, joke. Get the back to the topic. We're calling you Other Macca to piss you off, but you don't understand that, <laughs> and it's just frustrating me. That was a joke. I just don't care. Well, that was a joke. Oh, okay, so get back to the question. Joke. Why do you like Rick the new fifty two? Why do I like the new fifty two? I, I don't remember saying I liked the new fifty two. Uh, maybe did I say just, it in a video? Um you talked about it. Was it League of Super I do talk about it a lot. Was it the League of Superheroes that fucking rave? Yeah, but I buried that. I was like John Cena. So did New Fifty Two. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it got cancelled. <laughs> Never mind, it's not even uh, What do I like about the new Fifty Two? I like the fact that you don't need to know seventy years of history to jump in. Um, yeah. I like the fact that like it seems that it, it's right. working towards a common direction with most of their stories getting intertwined. Um, At least they're trying. Yeah. Um, they There's them. like shit that I, I, you know, have problems with, but What's it's mostly growing pains, and also because true. it's just. It's like, you know, I love Earth 2. Yeah. Earth 2 is like a great title. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like, hey, you read Golden Age or Silver Age shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Earth 2 is the, the fun times land. Well, it's like, what is it? It's like, oh, fuck, I can't remember his name. What's that man's name? Wesley Dodds. Yeah, it's like, it's Wesley Dodds with these sad men. It's like, yeah. we're special after. It's like, did you stick on? He knocked people out. You got, what is the team? Hawk Girl, Dr. Fate, Flash, fuck. Alan Scott, the Green Lantern. And, uh, is it... Adam, as well? Uh, yes, I think so, and you also have... <laughs> You're all laughing at me! Uh, <laughs> over Ryan. Thomas Wayne as... I'm in pain! You know, <laughs> and, uh... Did my suffering bring you Red Tornado. Red Tornado. <laughs> and Lola Sain as Red Tornado. Yeah. And I'm what? pretty sure you also have... Oh, dude! You have Black Superman. Um, yeah we do, that Zod son. Yeah, Zod son. Oh shit. Oh, he's the Superman of that universe. Zod he was son. in that, um, that fucking uh, Superman Unchained. Yeah, maybe. No, was I that? Don't um... know. I don't read too many no uh, I read the first one, but all I remember it was like Wraith or something was the main. Oh, one. Yeah. We only got one, sh- and then it got you know canned for like four months before they brought it back for a one episode, like one issue. Yeah. But anyway, um, DC. I like the new Fifty Two in some places. Uh, it's not really you know the greatest stuff, but at the same time, it... I can see. Sc- I love all of Scott Snyder's work on Batman. I just fucking like it. It's fun, and you know, minus when a few they let him do stuff. Yeah, minus a few things, I, you know, didn't really mind Forever Evil, but, um... Yeah. Uh, so the last issue taking 10 years to come out. <laughs> yeah, but, you know... Julian and the other. Rewrites! Okay, so this is gonna be a spoiler for this tiny bit. Spoiler, spoiler, said, spoiler! We were gonna do, so, uh, three, two... How long though? Wait, wait, how long... It's going to be a minute. It's just uh, almost okay, a single good, sentence. Good. But I wanted to talk about it. Um, and we'll three, say when it's over. two... One, did you guys, well I know that you, Maka, you would have uh, read it more than just the re- regular stuff because that showed up in Aquaman as well. Um, did you see that Superwoman was called Lois? Lois. Um, from Earth 3. From Earth 3? Yeah. No, I don't think I've read it. Because that. like, they casually say Lois, and I was like, Lois? Maybe they say Lois, but it's about Lois. No, like, what, not <laughs> Diana, like Wonder Woman? Lois. It's like, I broke my arm, and so I had <laughs> no money to buy a comic, and it's like, 
the next week's comic was the Aquaman one with Wonder Woman. Oh, but I found, annuals, I, I get found, to read that. I found that interesting. So, you know, spoilers over. And that gives us time to wrap up the cast. Um, okay. So... First of all, Ryan, you're dead over there. You, you couldn't make it through a single fucking podcast. <laughs> no, I right. can't. This is why I haven't been here for like six podcasts. So. You're, <laughs> you're, 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 I'm sorry, Ryan. You look like crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, I feel bad uh, making fun of you. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. Just unrelated note. <laughs> I hear that every day. <laughs> and the best part when you say that, it looked like you were crying. <laughs> You look forever alone. So I'm sorry, beard. Ryan. I thought you could hang with the big boys for one podcast, but um, <laughs> the big boys. Maybe we'll give you another try sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> until then, we don't. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the hospital, guys, and see if they can fix me up. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll catch you guys later. See ya, fuckers. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna <laughs> end on that. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. He's simply ravishing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not fucking anyone. He's simply ravishing. <laughs>